Hey guys, welcome back to the Passing Money Plan. I'm Alex. That's Kirby. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the new Florida immigration law and how this could affect the economy in Florida and how it may affect your family and all things around it financially. So, Kirby, um, we were talking about this more so on the construction side um, on how it could raise housing prices and such. Um, but I heard some people talk about, which, you know, I didn't even really think about, but grocery prices could go up. Uh, and then you brought up the trucking uh, aspect to it. You know, me working in transportation, that was an interesting uh, thing to see. So um, what do you got on this? Well, we'll all right, first off, it's, it's two parts. Did the bill pass already? Yes. When will the bill go into effect? July 1st is the effective date. And I know it's a lot of companies, they're looking to see how hard they're going to push this bill. How hard will it be enforced is what I say. Um, of course, you know, I have different ventures in other states. I've already seen uh, people that lived in Florida migrate to other states and say they left because of this immigration bill. Uh, and then they was in some, you know, very respectable jobs here in Florida. Um, but let's just go over it right quick. The The bill itself, the bill itself, uh, SB 1718, 1718, that's the bill. It requires employers to e-verify eligibility. There you go of their employees. If the company don't, and this is for companies 25 and over, if the companies don't have their employees E-verified, it's a fine of $1,000 per day. Now, if you're a big conglomerate and you do the math and you say, oh, well, that $1,000 fine per day based on what they're bringing in, some companies will, again, this is depending on how hard they enforce it. Some companies will skirt the curve and just be like, oh, well, I'm just paying the fine. So do I believe this is going to be a mass exodus? Will people leave Florida? Yes. But again, it's depending on how much they enforce this law. Um, another one, uh, suspended driver's license. They'll suspend license from employers who uh, knowingly employ illegal aliens. That will be something that will curb the employment here. And let's not get it twisted. I I understand the argument of, oh, well, the undocumented immigrants, I don't think I want to say it right, but I'm just reading it off of there saying legal aliens on the actual bill. But uh, undocumented immigrants, the saying is, oh, they're taking people jobs. For some, for some, that is the case. But for some jobs, I ain't American in U.S. history willing to do those jobs in this day and age, especially... I walk around my neighborhood every day. I don't even know it's kids in my neighborhood until I see them go to school. The summer is approaching right here in Florida. I will not see, and mark this post down, I will not see a kid in this neighborhood the entire summer. But soon school start back, they'll be outside. So this generation, they ain't going outside. And when I say kids, I mean people younger than me. I'm not saying, I ain't talking about people running sweatshops or something out here. Um, so that, that will have Affect employers, especially if you're losing your license and things like that. Uh, they said uh, they make they also uh, make it use the make a use of fake IDs because you know employers be giving fake IDs to employees. That's a felony offense that will impact employment for undocumented workers. But all in all, it's other you know other things that's inside this bill. But how will it affect the U.S. I mean Florida as an economy in general? If you drive around any part of Florida, home builders, they are immigrants to this state, to this country. I don't know if they're illegal or not, but they are immigrants to this country. And they are getting paid a lesser wage than what a normal, a normalized U.S. citizen would get paid doing the like and kind of same job. You know, of course, there's other aspects on that. You got the, you know, employment laws, the break laws and all that other stuff. So to build these homes, will it cost more for labor if it's enforced the way it is, the, the way the law is written? 
then yeah. How this bill is going to affect uh, Florida is, you know, two, you know, one or two things. Um, if you drive around anywhere in Florida, you see new construction. Hell, if you see most of the construction, it's immigrants that's doing most of the work. You know, you might have a foreman that's maybe a U.S. citizen, but for the most part, it's immigrants that's doing most of the work. Um, so if these bills are enforced and if the companies have to adhere to the new laws and regulation, it will cost more as far as labor. And then it will be a struggle for companies to get the people who have the skills to do these jobs. So the cost of building a business, I mean, building a house will go higher. Cost of repairs will go higher. Me as a you know real estate investor, that will be a higher cost on me for repairs and things like that with, with the bill. Um, when it comes to, I mean, me, I'm of the philosophy, the immigrants uh, make Florida go round. I mean, me, I love stopping at, the, I stop it on the side of the road buying, you know, the vegetables and stuff. That's just me. You know, my family love it. Um, the, the contractors and stuff, the immigrants that I've run into, I've never had a problem, you know, problem with them as far as getting the work done and things like that. But it's a lot of immigrants that make Florida run. I mean, I'm not trying to make Florida's the people that's, you know, residents of Florida sound bougie, but it's a lot of work that those immigrants do. And these kids today just ain't built to do it. They won't do it. I mean, it's hard to even get them off of their playing Robux. So I'm wondering what the, what Florida could look like 10 years from now when these kids have to go into the workforce. And especially with, you know, the dynamic of, you know, mental health and all this going on. I mean, immigrants, immigrants make a shape for me, but this bill will affect a lot of things, you know, as far as the Florida economy goes and the cost that it will cost us as consumers in the state of Florida. Yeah, that's a big one, too, is just how how they work, their work ethic. You know, I've I've been able to see that like firsthand, you know, how these guys, uh, they just work like we talked about the other day. They don't care about a break or nothing, though. You know, they might stop to eat for like five minutes and then they're back at it like they they really get the job done. And um, I think they've been doing it so long that no American citizens have been doing those jobs. And now they've gotten you know comfortable with not having to do those jobs. So it's it would be interesting to see one that you pointed out was uh, the trucking that really uh, interested me because I don't think. I don't think companies uh, we'll see it uh, from their drivers, but guys that are uh, owner operator uh, contractors that haul broker loads and stuff like that. I think if they're going to protest, uh, that'll be interesting to see because um, they're really the only ones that could do that if they chose to. But um, I don't know how big or how big of a scale that'll get to. But you know, even uh, just talking about uh, someone had mentioned like the the cost of fruits and vegetables would go up. I didn't really even think of that. But, yeah, they have a point on that as well. Um, it'll be yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Do you think that by July 1st, like we're immediately going to start seeing a rise in prices or do you think it'll be gradually over time? Everything. I mean, businesses will make the decision based on what they know. I mean. The bill got passed, what, two weeks ago? So you got, you know, a month and a half before it goes in. Companies companies are already looking at the numbers. They, if I'm in a battle room with them, they got two plans. They got two plans. They know that, okay, we have this many number, this X number of people that's immigrants illegally in the United States. Now, if we get rid of these people and we got to hire people, this is how much it's going to cost to hire people. So they're already doing their numbers. And honestly, I think the price will be going up early. So it can buffer those numbers that have them have the cash flow to pay for it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see the numbers go up drastically. But I do know it's still people sitting there, uh, companies sitting there hoping that the enforcement of this law is not as strenuous as it was presented. I know companies right now that's still hoping that they'll happen and find a way to skirt and get through it because they don't have the capital to pay, you know, regular wages for like and kind jobs that they'll have to pay 
you know, somebody that's not an immigrant. So when prices go up, I'm expecting prices to go up in different places. And uh, think about this. A lot of these companies, especially the fruit and vegetable companies that, that uh, you know, supply to the Walmarts, the Targets of the world here in Florida, that they get their, you know, goods from uh, here in Florida. You know, if the farms are here in Florida, I expect those things, anything that's produced in Florida, I expect the cost of it to go up. Unless they, unless these companies start outsourcing it from another state to keep the cost down. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, and it, it's, uh, it's like, it's crazy to see because um, I was talking to a guy that works in a smaller construction company. Um, he does like relations type work. Um, but I was talking to him about like, he'll get like the contracts and stuff basically, but the actual workers, I was talking to him about the law and he, I was like, how many of your guys are immigrants? And he was like, all of them. <laughs> so I'm like, like, I'm wondering like how many of these companies, um, are just gonna like, you know, lose all their, all their workers. Um, it's, it, it would be, it would be interesting to see. Um, cause I don't think any other state has a law like this, correct? No, this is the most uh, aggressive law there is. And the thing is, is forget what they're going to do when they lose their employees. How many companies are going to go under because of this? Exactly. It's going to be companies that literally are going to go under because of this law. Exactly. And a lot in the construction home repair uh, arena. I mean, it's just, it's, and, and like you, I talk to people that, you know, have, you know, um, businesses and 90% of their employees are undocumented. What do they do? I mean, they can't, they can't, they can't even find the number of people that they're going to have to let go to rehire at a higher wage. They're just, they never even find those people because the, the number is, the number is vast. And then, like I say, if it was like one-off companies here and there, but it's majority. Like I said, anywhere in Florida you drive around, there's immigrants working on it. Now, how many are documented and undocumented? I don't know. But it's immigrants on every construction site in the state of Florida. It's not it's not enough people to replace them. Unless it's going to be laymen coming from other states that want to move here to Florida. But like, oh, they got some good jobs here in Florida because they got rid of you know the undocumented workers. Could that happen? Maybe. But I don't know. And like the point you mentioned, like can a company pull in more income, uh, or that having one undocumented worker, are they making enough money to, you know, withstand those fines? Because ten employ, I mean, ten contractors, that's three point six five million, you know, a year. So it's like, can a company actually withstand that? Is it worth it to them? You know, so it'd be like, yeah. it'd be crazy to see. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting how it all develops. I mean, me as a real estate investor, as a homeowner here, repair costs, I'm expecting them to go higher. Um, but I have all sets, I have all sets also for that when the prices go higher. But for a lot of people, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard on homeowners, it's gonna be hard on business owners, it's gonna be hard on the businesses themselves that hire these employees. And I mean, just think of, you know, how much, uh, you know, beach community we have around here. How many of those are undocumented that's working there? I mean, Florida is the destination and it's no way in heck they're going to be able to pay those, uh, especially with we got the new minimum wage, the minimum $15 an hour. Now paying everybody $15 an hour to get little beach trinkets ain't going to work. <laughs> unless you got you know the people to do it so it's gonna be very interesting how this plays out but um i'm very interested to see how it turns out that i am as well but with all that being said guys uh if you like the video hit the like button uh if you have any comments on this topic let us know it down below especially if you live in florida uh share this video with your friends family and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video